You can never pay Allah back. No matter what you do, you will never be able to pay Allah back. So don't feel proud about your prayer. Don't think, oh, I've been really great in my prayer and, you know, I have such a great favor on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, you don't have that. On the Day of Judgment, Anas ibn Malik says, and this is not from the Prophet, but it's Anas ibn Malik's statement. He says, on the Day of Judgment, there will be three records opened before every human being. One of them is the record of the favors of Allah upon him. Then Allah will say to the favors of Allah, to the favors that He's given us, our eyesight, hearing, food, bodies, uh, wealth, this world, and everything that it contains. All these are Allah's favors. Allah will say to one of them, get your right from his deeds. He has righteous deeds, okay? All the rewards, get your rights from them. All of his good deeds will be consumed with one favor. In some narrations, it was the favor of eyesight. The Prophet in another hadith mentions a story from nations that came before Islam. The Prophet says that he will be brought in on the Day of Judgment. And this person worshipped Allah for 60 years non-stop. The day fasting, the night praying. He didn't have a livelihood as well. He just had a tree that would give him fruits and he would live on that for the rest of his life, all his life, 60 years. He passed away. The Prophet says on the Day of Judgment he will be brought and he will be proud of himself. And Allah will say to him, O oh my servant, do you think you will enter paradise with your deeds? He looks back at his deeds, 60 years of complete devotion. He says, yes. Allah says, okay, fine. Your eyesight, that's it. Let's, you know, get the scales leveled. Pay back, get your worship to pay back for the favor of eyesight. It will consume all of his 60 years and he has not paid it back yet. And he sees that, he says, Oh Allah, I will enter paradise by your mercy. So it's only Allah's mercy. You can never pay Allah back. So no matter how hard you try, no matter how great you get with the prayer, it's never enough. So your best is never enough. The Prophet ﷺ himself, with all his worship, all his great works, he says, لَمْ يَدْخُلَ أَحَدُكُمُ الْجَنَّةَ بِعَمَلِهِ None of you will enter paradise because of his own deeds. The companion said, not even you, O Messenger of Allah, said, not even me. Except if Allah showers me with his mercy. That would be the reason for me to enter paradise.